How you guys doing? No fab day. 13 of 90, and we are not a few hours, but we are we are, we are um hours away from day 14, which would be what? Two weeks. I'm I have to go back and check when the last time when, when was the last time I've been on two weeks, but um I believe it was like um like like literally what two months ago, two weeks? I believe it was like two months ago. So um yeah man, it's pretty exciting. Um, and real quick, just 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 um, just to, to ram me throw this out there, um, I'm trying to um, I don't know, do something different with my hair, and by the 90 days I want to see what it is. It's almost like it's almost like um, something like you know how you, you know how the New Year's thing, New Year, New Me, that that BS because you know damn well a month, not even a month, a weekend to the New Year's you you gonna break whatever you whatever habit you said you're gonna do you're gonna break it. This is this. Generally speaking, about people and talking about people in general, not just no fat, not no fat, but people in general. You know, Americans in general. I'm gonna lose weight. You know, one weekend you're going back to McDonald's every night. Well, one weekend you're going back to McDonald's ordering a big meal. But that's besides point. Um, you know, I just want to go. You know, I want to grow my hair out and then see what it is nine nine days. I envision my I envision myself like you know, being this this at the end of nine days, being this this new person with um all these good habits start with um with um a different hairstyle. Hey, cause I used to have the kid and play hair thing, the kid, the kid and play hairstyle, like the box, which I still do sort of, but I, I'm gonna, we'll, we'll see what it is. I, I twisted them up with the little, with the little magic twist bunch thing, but um, we'll see what it is. You guys are watching, you guys are watching my hair grow as the time goes on, which is what, which is what no fat is about. Watching people, watching growth. So um, let's do it. Yeah, man. How's the day? I can't say today was pretty was pretty easy because. Um, my, my, my first class at 8 a.m. in the morning, I might add, I had, I had some strong urges in the class. I was thinking about, I was literally, I was thinking about going to the bathroom and fapping right there. Not for, not, not, I'm not going to say for a quick second, a little longer than a quick second, about a good 30 seconds, I was like, dude, I'm about to, I need to, I'm about to fap, I'm about to fap. Well, it wasn't that serious, it wasn't that bad, but, um, I had a serious thought, I was like, do I gotta go fap this again? I was like a little, a little stressed out. But, but eventually I was like, man, I, I, I went to the bathroom, I had to, you know, j just to wake up, because I, I was falling asleep in class, I, I, I had to wake up, I had to go to the bathroom, wake up, came back, ready to go, forgot about the urge. There was a few more urges throughout the day, but, oh yeah, speaking of urges, boy, in that class, my penis was speaking in tongues. I didn't know what language my penis, well, I just said in tongues, but I didn't know what my penis was saying, because it was, I was, I was getting these random, random bonus, like, when I went to the bathroom, I had to, like, hold, Hold, like, hold my hands in place because my penis was at, at a mind zone, which is what I guess when you're doing no fapping, you're doing it and you're not masturbating, you know, your penis is confused. Like, what are you, what are you doing to me? You're supposed to be fapping by now. So, um, I had all these random bonus, man. Oh, it's crazy. But, um, I, um, I got through the day. Today was a long day, actually. A lot of things happened today. Um, um, actually, for, for student government, because I am the, um, I'm, I'm a parliamentarian. Pretty much what a parliamentarian is. is they um um pretty much when you when you're in a business meeting it's it's about keeping order at the meeting you know being able to recite being able to recite being pretty much being able to recite a um a, a set of rules called Robert's Rules of Order was pretty much I'm know I'm probably boring you guys probably know what I'm talking about but um pretty much Robert's Rules of Order is like um a bunch of rule rules used to um run meetings you know and and then and then yesterday meeting I'm not gonna lie to you guys I've been so busy. I haven't even been able to study, you know, the rules. So I, I'm just pretty much just, you know, I'm a novice. I know as much. I probably, a lot of people probably know more than me. So, but I'm still, the, I'm still a parliamentarian. But to tell you, in the meeting for student government, you know, I had just, I had just, I didn't have to give a speech, but I had to just stand up and state some of the rules, which I knew some, a few of the basics. But um, the thing, and th the thing about SJ is that you see these people every day on campus. You see them literally every day, you know. So it's like um, and they're not strange. I'm not speaking from the strangers. I'm speaking from the people I know. But um, the problem. But t today when I spoke, um, I told you guys I'm trying to. I'm trying to work on like speaking slower. But the thing is, today when I was, my, I started out speaking well. I was like, "How you guys doing?" I, I was smiling. I, I started out well. But the thing is, I forgot to breathe. I was trying to give it. I was trying to put everything out in one sentence, and then bam, I ran out of breath. I, I was I was starting out good. I was speaking, speaking, speaking. I didn't breathe. I was running out of breath, running out of breath. Then bam, at the end of at the end, when I was like out of breath, I was I, I had to force everything out. It didn't sound too good. And then when I breathed again, that was, that's when the anxiety hit me. Man, then I had to stand up again and then say something. It is it, a long process, but I just stand up and say some say some again. And, they, and they, there was this time it was even worse, you know. So um, 
pretty much it just I, I guess I have to work on the eye contact thing. My eye contact is pretty it's, it's pretty not flawless, but it's pretty good now. It's still pretty good. And, um, I'm I'm still able to talk to f females and males and give them good eye contact. What like two months ago? Terrible. I was I was literally like look at their eyes for a few seconds to look at their to look at their mouth for the rest of the conversation. But um, I'm I was able I'm able to now look at people in the eye really good. And I was telling myself today, okay, I walked in my eye contact. Now it's time to work on the speech part. I made a conscious effort of, of, of making sure I look people in the eye and, and made sure to practice. Then bam, I became just I don't know what I became pretty good. So I know if with this with um with um with the, with the um speech thing, I'm gonna use I'm gonna, I'm going to work on that next, you know, and we'll see how that goes. Yeah, man. I don't know if you guys ever been. I don't know if you guys ever had to deliver speeches or anything like that. And you like try to rush everything, everything out in one sentence, and it came my bad. But man, who doing that in front of a bunch of people? It makes you. It, ma it makes you even more nervous. I think it's your brain psyching you out because when you speak, even though you, you speak to these people literally every day, at least ninety-seven percent of them, it's like when you get up there and you speak in front of people, your brain tricks you into believing that okay. So since now you're speaking to all these people and it's quiet and it's in a, in a business setting. Now you have to get nervous because oh, even though you know these people, you still have, you have to get nervous now because you have to speak and, and it's, on, it's it's in front of all these people. So you're supposed to be nervous. Do, do, do then your your body becomes nervous, and now you're nervous when you really had nothing to, do, to be nervous about. But guess what? When the meeting's over, with, you speak to people like you don't get nervous when you speak to people when the meeting's over. With, but I guess you know your brain your brain is pretty funny. Your brain would trick you into believing that you that, that you know um that that you should be nervous in the situation when you when you really shouldn't you know. But I'm gonna have to work on that, you know. But um, that's what that's what thing, no fat thing is about changing yourself. Um. Um. But yeah, man, yeah, that's what it's about changing yourself. This is like what, what else happened today. But um, yeah, I'm, have you guys ever have you guys ever had that with public speaking? Like you know, you, you you sort of you sort of like try to rush that thing out in one breath, and after you finally breathe back again, you, you feel like more you feel nervous now because you have to, you know, you just you just rush everything out. So now you have to. Now you have to compose because you know you don't want to like you don't have to wear something out. You have to breathe like, and doing that in front of people you feel awkward. So you don't you don't you still don't breathe. So you try to it, I don't know man, it's just awkward. It just it was pretty, pretty awkward. So I didn't feel too I didn't feel too good. I didn't feel too good briefly after that. I was like man, I, I gotta work on this, but uh, but I, I didn't it, it didn't make me want to fat you know you know. So I, I just have to work on it. You know? it just it just speaking to people and speaking slow. Even if I have to speak slow, just like this. At first, you know, and then work my way up. But you know, that's what no fab is about change. Let me get into the comments. Giants, John Anderson. Um, yeah, the urge to talk to women has increased. Just the thought, just just the thought that you didn't masturbate for almost two weeks gives you more confidence. And here's the creepy part. I think they know that's definitely true because um, I I know it's lately that I'm especially like the last two days. I've got a lot of compliments, man. I've got a lot of compliments. From girls and from guys, you know, um, nice haircut. A few people, a couple people said, "Oh my God, you look, you look nice." There was an older white lady. She's like, "Oh, you looking nice?" I'm like, "Okay," you know. I, I, I'm, I don't know. I, he, I think he's right. It's some, it's something magical about no fat. But yeah, man, the girls and guys t tell me, you know, you look nice. You look nice. You dress now. You look nice. I'm like, okay, okay. It's, I guess the magic. It's, it's the no fat magic, man. That's why I stay on the street. I can't. I can't. If I fat, like say I fat today and I binged, you know, tomorrow and I start my start my streak over. I may not feel like this. I may, you know, I, it may take me a month just to get back to where I am now. And I ain't at the time. I, I'm. I'm not trying to be on New Year's Day. You know, on No Fab Day Four. Make, it's making a week. No, I ain't got time for that, man. No Fab Day. It's a few hours. Not a few, but hours away from day third four, from fourteen two weeks. I got this, ain't man. Feel pretty good. I'm not getting. I'm not getting one of these benefits. But yeah, man, I know it's a few. I, I know it's a, it's a lot of attention. You know, smiles just like this from members of the opposite sex, and from you know, not smiles, not from dudes, but you know, dudes give me compliments and girls give me compliments. It feels pretty good, man. But you know, yeah, I just gotta keep it up. This savage says no turning back, man. I'm going to get that that nine days before you. Well, I mean, you you can, but you know, I mean. All congrats to you. Didn't, once again, no fat business race for me. You, you get nine days. Congrats to you, but I, I'm taking my time. Then David Balestros, hey Cardigan, do you eat more fed vegetables than junk food during this streak? No, I'm answering your question right now. No. <laughs> By the way, in your previous video, 
1337 inches in length of your video short form for elite um can you, can you explain what, what does short form for elite mean do you mean like shorter videos mean that the video do you mean that shorter videos mean that the videos would be more elite can you explain that then savage says oh yeah about the vegetable thing i, I thought you when, when i get paid this thursday i think I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna like you know i'm gonna go and buy more vegetables and more healthier foods um just you know, just sort of, cause I'm, I'm trying to work on one thing at a time. You know, next I got my eye contact down. I I, I don't have it down. Yeah, I'm, I'm still working on that. But but it's, it's pretty. I'm able to look people. It, I just say it's really powerful. I'm not not just members of the opposite sex. We yeah, but more so them. When you can walk up to a girl you find attractive, and you can just look them in the eye, and you can be and you have and you can have relax a, a relaxed gaze. Which is what I have to work on next, like being relaxed, because oftentimes when I'm talking to somebody like up close, up close. I have trouble, like, I lick, like, yo, like, you know, yo, you speak his mind, you, like, lick your lips, you feel awkward about it. It's like, it's like little details like that, you know. Like, do I close my mouth when I talk to him, when I'm listening to him, when they speak, do I close my mouth, is my mouth supposed to be open? You know, my hand, my, I move what I do with my hands, you know. Um, I'm always moving my mouth constantly, I'm, like, moving my mouth, like, you know. It's weird, you know, it's, it's like little details like that I have to work on, but, yeah, man, it's really powerful. Yeah, um. But yeah, um, I, I, um, I, I think that, um, um, yeah, it just, it's just about making progress. You have to do one thing at a time. So hopefully in the next few videos, you guys see me, you know, speaking more clear, more slower. And then we'll move on to the next accomplishment, 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 which is, you know, actually speaking to, actually speaking to, going up to girls and talking to them instead of, you know, just, just the thing, if I speak, if I say a girl, now I'm in a good mood. I talk to him. Now I'm pretty good with eye contact now. But the, my problem is, you know, work, it's the approach part. Like, see, because like, in Starbucks, I'm doing math in Starbucks. And, and that's the girl. Literally, at, at, at my community college, I, I've literally seen her that, um, not know, I didn't know it, no, but um, we've been there like it's pretty much the same amount of time. Like, um, two, with two and a half, two and a half, three years. We've been there like that long. We've been there that long, so that I, I've seen her a lot. And, um, Pretty much in the, in the coffee shop, she was she was with, with another girl, and um, I was like I should go over there and talk to her, but um, I had this resistance like no 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 you good you you gonna you don't want to offend anybody, so I didn't do it, and then I just then my mind overthinks things, and I'm not now instead of focusing on you know the like the, the this peak out this work, I'm thinking about okay well maybe you should go and you should go and talk to her man stop being a bitch go talk, to her. it just like you know I had to work on that part too I had to work on a lot of things man, but by by the um, third week, hopefully, these things will, be, will start to, you know, work better for me. But yeah, man, it, it's, it's about working. I'm going to work on the speaking part for next, and then hopefully, you know, work on, work on approaching because, you know, if you, if you like a girl, you know, go talk to her. Even with the no-fab, even give her attention, even give her attention from girls to no-fab, you know, they're not gonna just going to flock to you like like um, like you're some kink, you know, <laughs> because you're on day 15 of no-fab. It's not just going to happen, you know, you have to actually, if you want, if you want something, go get it. I should learn to take my own advice as well, you know. So um, yeah, <laughs> but yeah, I have to eat. I have to eat more vegetables. Vegetables. <laughs> then Doctor Gaines says, "I hope you're making progress in life with your new habits." I realized going on Facebook was one of the main reasons I've been failing recently. I see pics and vids that I shouldn't be seeing, and I'm gone. It's downhill from there. And no turning back. By the way, if you get stressed or tension doing these days, take yourself out the house. Um. Yeah. Um, I've been I've been on Facebook, Twitter, whatever since like my I last relapsed. Um. When you're on day like when you're on day twelve of no fab and you're on Facebook and Twitter, you're gonna probably end up relapsing unless you have strong willpower. Either relapsing or edging, which is my book is relapsing. Because man, especially Twitter, Twitter, Facebook, Facebook pretty much has one foot in the grave, and it's like literally, like it's a, Facebook. You, know, you ever step in the in the bathtub to test the water? You like tap your toe and just to see if the water is hot or cold or just right. And you know how you swing a leg over the other side of the bathtub to sit down in the tub. Facebook has one foot. One foot in the grave, and it's about to swing his elephant over, and about to just the coffin about to close because Facebook's about to become MySpace soon. But um, yeah, yeah, pretty much. But people's chicks still post pictures on it, so you can still it's still fapping material. But I tell you what, Twitter, and I, I hear a lot about Snapchat and Instagram. But I don't, I don't have Snapchat or Instagram. But um, um, I hear a lot of things about. I hear a lot of like you know chicks posting these news and all that stuff on there. But I, I can't tell you about Twitter. Like when I, when I go on Twitter, like literally when you scroll down, when you scroll on Twitter, it's like naked chicks. Like literally, 
within seconds of even opening your, t your um, app up. And so um, you can't, you can't, you can only block by so much, so many accounts before before you you get one picture or one or one gift or or I call them GIFs that just make you want to fat to it, to it, to it and you keep watching over and over again. And now you hooked. Now you're in that mood where it's like, well, I have to relax. So I'm gonna keep thinking about this whole, the whole night, and I just can't escape this feeling. So um, I'm not. I'm probably not gonna even want to think about going on Twitter or whatever until like 30 days at least. Um, I don't even have. I don't even have the urge to even go on social media in the first place. So I mean, it's not really a big deal to me. But um, that social media will kill you. That social media will definitely kill you. These chicks, they be posting these pictures, man, and that, and, they, and they be that one picture that you be spotted log off Twitter, and, you, and it's that one picture you see. And it's like, oh lord, I'm about to fail my streak. But yeah, man, it's like um, it's like I don't know, it's weird, you know. It's um. So just don't go on social media at least at least by, especially in the first two weeks because you that when them urges start to build like not like the urge was this morning it can be tempting so just stay away and stay just stay away until you until you feel confident you know that you you're not you go you can easily be tempted by um a chicken yoga pants but yeah man today was a pretty action packed day um tomorrow I have that one class I'm the first hour is like nap time because I don't fall asleep in class but I'm like I do it like this like that. Man, whew. But yeah, man. It should be also I joined I joined the, a dance group. Yeah, just doing it out there. But yeah, <laughs> it was pretty long day, pretty long day. But um, overall, I will give my day. I give a day like a seven out of out of ten. Um, I have to work on I have to work on public speaking because, you know, if people can't understand what you're saying, because you speak too quickly, um. That could be a turn off, not sexually, but um, a turn, a turn off, a turn off as in you know, confidence wise, a turn off, a turn off as in people want to get to know you more because you can't really speak. I know that whenever I say something and I say it too quickly, people will literally ignore, ignore like what I just said, and they and they go go into a new subject, which is very annoying to me. If I say something to you and you just go into a, you you ignore it and go into a new subject, I, that really grinds my gears. But if I speak really quickly and people ignore what I say because they didn't understand what I said, I can't really get mad. That that's my own fault. So, we'll see. I, as you guys know, I work on the, I start working on it tomorrow, you know, so I'm speaking slower. So, um, don't get mad when I speak, when you, when you see me speaking at 25,000 frames per Is that slow? I don't even know. If you if don't get mad when y'all see me speaking extremely slow. Damn, this video's long. <laughs> I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow for, day, uh, for two weeks of no fact. It's been like literally almost three months since I've been on two weeks. Which is a bad thing about relapse, man, because once you relapse, it takes you so long to get back to where you are, man. I ain't got time for that, man. But um, I see you guys later. For, I see you guys tomorrow. Well, later on, we had tomorrow for day 14, two weeks of no fat. And as always, don't relapse. Bam, I'm selling this thing, baby. I'm selling this thing.